I'm going to just be talking to you about scripting. So you think you've got a really great idea for a story, but what happens next? Well, the idea really is you need to start writing a draft script. Now, I know you're thinking to yourself, I can't wait to get to the music bit and choosing my images and doing all the editing, but it's really, really important to think about your story first. So storytelling first, and then all the lovely digital bits afterwards. Um, and that's mainly because we want to get some good content and we want to make sure that it's the right length as well. Of course you can use your memory prop or an image to spark your writing, but we need to think about getting something down on paper first of all. So, you sat in front of your computer, there's a blank screen, and I know what it's like, even the best writers sometimes think, where am I going to start? So really, just two little techniques. Um, first of all, give yourself just 10 minutes, and don't worry about the structure of the story, don't worry about it having a beginning or middle or an end, just get your ideas down on paper. That's one way. You can also use one of these, an index card, just a six by four index card. The idea, again, is to give yourself some time, say about 10 minutes, just get your story down on the back and the front of one of these. And what that does is it not only concentrates your mind onto one piece of paper, but also it makes the story quite short from the start kind of the right length almost because what happens is if you were to put what you'd written on this index card on an A4 piece of paper it would amount to around about two or three minutes of a story which is what we kind of want. We talk in about three words per second so you're looking to be writing about 540 words. Okay. Next I need to talk about the three P's the power of the three P's. The first one is keep it personal, okay? This is your story, told with heart, told with feeling in your voice, okay? Um, so we need in your script lots of the use of the word I. It's your story after all. So I was born in 2004. Um, I felt helpless and anxious. I couldn't believe it. Lots of the use of the word I. And then also this is a script that's designed to be spoken to be spoken out loud. So the good news is you can ignore grammar in a way. You don't have to worry about putting a semicolon in the right place. This is conversational. This is using words that you use every day. So if you do use slang, put it in your story. If you were to talk in an accent, put it in your story. It's your natural voice and that's what we absolutely want to hear. Okay? Keep it personal. The second P, picture. Picture what you're writing about. So it's important to describe people, places and things to create pictures in people's minds. Imagine, if I use the word imagine, it's a really, really important word in storytelling. If I say to you now, imagine that it's a hot sunny day and you're on the beach. Your brain, because it's so clever, will automatically form a mental picture of that in your head. I'm already, you know, I've got sand between my toes, I've got the sun on my back, I've got the waves lapping on the beach and you want your listener to automatically imagine what you're talking about, what you're creating on the page. So I need colour and texture and smells and sounds. I don't know whether you remember in my story I talked about the, the melting wax making a lovely smell. If you've got an, an object, what does it feel like in your hand? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it sharp? So paint pictures with your words, it's really, really important. And then the final P is pull them in. How are you going to pull your listeners into your story? These stories are on a website and they're supposed to be shareable. Um, so when people press play, we don't want them to just listen for 10 seconds and think, oh, this is a bit boring, I'm going to go somewhere else. We want them to be engaged and to keep on listening. And we do that by starting really strong with a really strong first sentence. Um, and we call that a dramatic question, setting a dramatic question. Our stories, again, don't, be have to, don't have to be chronological. You don't have to start at the beginning. You could start somewhere in the middle of the story and create some suspense and drama at the beginning. So let me just give you an example. In my story, I think my opening line was something really quite dull. A few years ago, there was flooding in the UK. That was true, but not particularly exciting. And obviously, I want to talk about my... Um, my family Christmas and how it was beset by a power cut. But imagine if I started my story like this instead. No heating, no light, and soon no mobile phone. How are we going to get through Christmas? Christmas is cancelled this year, shouted Mum, weeping over our huge 
12 pound defrosting turkey. Do you see what I mean? You're just trying to start the story in a much more creative way so that people will be drawn into the story and won't click away. Okay? So pull your listeners in. Another thing to think about is we want to hear about your emotions in your story as well. How did the story make you feel? Did it make you feel sad? Did it make you feel happy? Did it make you feel relieved? Did it make you feel anxious? Try and convey those emotions in the story. We don't want you to reveal your deepest, darkest secrets in your story, although you can if you like, but bear in mind this is being shared on a website and within a story circle. Sometimes the best stories are funny, but absolutely emotions in a story really, really work. Okay, just finally to finish off, you have got your story together, you've used some of these techniques, it's around the kind of the same, the right length. Um, what next? That's when you can go back into another story circle with your peers or a few people and get some feedback, okay? So what you'll do is you'll stand up, you'll read your story out uninterrupted and you'll get some feedback. We want some positive feedback. We want things like, I really like your story because um, we want, I love, I love it when you, you, know, you talked about this bit, or um, I don't really understand that bit, could you explain that to me again? We don't want to destroy people's confidence. We want to give them lots of positive feedback so they can go and rewrite it and produce a really fantastic digital script. And then when that's done, we get to record.